Hello everyone, this is RoboJ. Welcome to my channel. And with this video, I was actually uh, not even planning to make a video, but I had some time, uh, some more quiet time to do it. And I wanted to make this video special because I received, got the news today that uh, Eddie Van Halen passed away. And I am extremely devastated and heartbroken to have gotten this news. Um, Eddie Van Halen was, I would say he was and is and will always be my guitar hero. He was the, the one. And just the, the, I'm still kind of in a state of shock about it you know you these these kind of musicians and these people who, and these artists who enter your lives and who are a part of your lives um, and especially when they're still living in your lifetime when they're gone you know it just hits you like a ton of bricks and this one hit me uh, particularly hard um, it, it's interesting because when I got the news of all the people who I wanted to uh, hear this kind of news from, from uh, it was the person who told me it was my dad um, my dad broke the news to me uh, in a text message and uh, it was technically because of him that I first discovered uh, Eddie Van Halen uh, and Van Halen as the band um, I can still remember uh, he, uh, my dad and I were watching uh, VH1 uh, back when I was like a young teenager, I think it was probably about like 12 or 13. And I had just started really, just started to pick up the guitar. Um, and the music video for Hot for Teacher came on, uh, which is still like one of my favorite uh, Van Halen songs. And uh, I remember my dad saying, you know, pointing to the screen and just being like, you know, oh yeah, this is Van Halen, Van Halen. And it's like, listen to this song, it's so cool. And, and I'll never forget that moment when, in the beginning of the song, when, when uh, Eddie just picks scrapes down the strings and does the famous is two-handed tapping intro. And, uh, in the, you know, in that video when uh, during Eddie's guitar solo and he's like, you know, the camera's following him as he's like, like going on the table. And uh, I remember my dad like pointing and he's like, this is this guy, man. This is Eddie Van Halen. He's... He's the greatest guitar player alive. And I, you know, this was just one of those life-changing moments, you know, especially for someone at, at my age then, you know, when you first see a guitar player like that, when you hear a guitar player like that, because, you know, he, I had never heard anything like that before. Um, you know, I, when I was first starting guitar and getting into music, I was all into the Beatles and all into like, you know, the early rock stuff and, you know, not, not too much into, I didn't even know about Van Halen. And then, you know, the second I heard it, that was it. I was just, I was like, I have to hear more of this. I have to learn more about this guy, Eddie Van Halen. And I did. And I learned about his, him and his Frankenstrat, um, the guitar that he basically put together. And, you know, he, uh, you know, the story goes that he, the Charvel factory, was nearby where he lived in Southern California and he basically got like, you know, secondhand guitar parts from this, uh, Charvel factory. And he, uh, he wanted to combine, uh, the body of a Strat with the sound of a Les Paul, particularly with the PAF humbucker. And he literally had to chisel the space out of the guitar to fit the humbucker in there. And, uh, he, you know, he did all of that himself. He, you know, he painted it himself. He wired it. He, you know, he, he even put a quarter underneath the, the trend bridge to, to stabilize it. You know, he, he did all of that. And that, when I, when I found that out, when I learned about that, uh, around the same time when I was about 13 or so, that was, I was like, this is amazing. I, and I was like, I want to do that. And I want to, be like him. I wanted to be like Eddie, and you know, and i and that's kind of actually the reason why I wanted a Strat. Like I can easily say that it's because of Eddie Van Halen that I wanted to own a Stratocaster, or at least have a Strat style body. And you know, Eddie Van Halen inspired me, um, not just in a way of playing and performance, 
uh, in technicality, but also in the, the technical way of electronics of, of your guitar. He, he, I would say more than anything, he inspired me to take my guitar apart, you know, rewire it, change it around, and customize it to fit me, to fit my sound, my tone, the one, the sound that I heard in my head, because that's what he did to his own guitar. That's what he did to the Frankenstein. He had a sound in his head, and the only way he could do it is if he made it himself. And, and that inspired me to take apart my guitar and rewire it and, you know, just make something new out of it. And my one of my main guitars is still my first guitar, which is a Squire Stratocaster that I've just modified and changed over the years. And it's because of Eddie that I modified it and changed it around and was in search of my tone, you know, because Eddie himself said in interviews that he was a tone chaser. And I felt I feel the exact same way. I'm a tone chaser in every sense of the word. And so like with, with Eddie's influence on me, you know, it was just extremely impactful that, that, you know, I carry that, you know, throughout, you know, my whole, you know, life so far, you know, since I started picking up guitar until like, even now he still inspires me even now, you know, I'm playing more, more bass now. I'm playing electric bass now, but I've taken, I've been, you know, the Frankenstein, you know, I Frankenstein all my instruments, you know, I have a bunch of instruments, but I, I just, you know, I like to change them around. I like to customize them and modify them because of the inspiration that Eddie gave me. And I remember uh, one of the most memorable moments of my life, most unforgettable moments, was when I got to go to the Metropolitan Museum of Art when they were doing this big exhibit about uh, electric guitar. And, and they had all these great rock, you know, rock guitars from history they had jimmy page's les paul you know and his telecaster and they had like jerry's guitar they had um you know the was it the who's drum you know keith moon's drum set they had you know uh eric clapton you know they had blackie and of course they had the frankenstrat there and i i'll never forget first seeing it with my own eyes and just looking at it up close and it's an extremely unforgettable moment for me when I just got to look at it and, and just, you know, look at every speck of dust, you know, look at every dent and scratch and cigarette burn and just thinking like, God, what, you know, how did he do this? How, what happened here? You know, how did he make this mark? You know, seeing his, his, you know, his imprint, you know, seeing his touch on it. And more than anything, I saw his personality through the guitar. And that's what I think I'm probably going to miss the most about Eddie as a musician is his personality. I mean, everybody who's ever interacted with him or collaborated with him has said nothing but praise about him as a person, as a human being, and it shows through his music. And in fact, one of the things I've always loved and will always love about Eddie is his smile. If you notice, he's always smiling in his when he's playing all the time, and it it inspires you to smile. And, you know, I love seeing those pictures of him and the performances that he's got of, you know, old, you know, both old and new. He's always smiling. He's all, it's, it looks like he's just having a ball. It looks like he's having so much fun. And it looks like, you know, when he's up there on stage, nothing's, nothing's wrong and all, you know, nothing's wrong in the world. And all that matters to him is that his martial amp is just cranked and his fingers are flying, you know, and it means a lot. It's it meant it's meant a lot to me in the last God knows like what like I think like now more than twenty years of me playing an instrument, you know, playing guitar, bass, drums, all that stuff. And it's just Eddie's influence on me is is very impactful, as you probably have you could have tell by the near ten minutes of this video. But I wanted to share this video out of tribute to him and and also. Um, in condolences with, you know, with his family, with his son, Wolfgang, and his brother, Alex. I mean, my deepest, cons my deepest condol uh, uh, condolences to them and to the whole family. You know, we've lost a, a beautiful soul in this world. And also, I share this with all of the Van Halen fans out there, my fellow Van Halen fans and my fellow Eddie fans. You know, tonight, you know, 
let's blast some tunes, you know, let's, let's blast some Van Halen. Let's remember him. Let's remember Eddie and let's smile, you know, let's smile along with him. So, uh, with that, I'm going to finish up here, but you know, uh, you know, I, I miss him and I already miss him already and you know, rest in peace, Eddie rock on. All right, guys, I haven't been making much video because lately I've been very busy, but you know, I'll do more or less an update soon with some more stuff, you know, you know, my usual touch screen stuff, you know, I see got an update recently, so I got to make another video about all that, but we'll get to that. Uh, but yeah, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful night and to all the Van Halen fans out there, you know, today is a rough day, but we'll get through it. Eddie would want us to get through it and smile all the way through and, and rock all the way through. So everyone take care and I'll see you all next time.